Hey guys, it's Amy Dave, the Keto Queen. I hope you're having a great day. We're home, guys, and I'm super excited to make something new. Haley has been making this. This is the second time she's cooked it, and she's like, Mom, what are you waiting on? You need to try these fried zucchinis. So, guys, I'm excited. As you're jumping on, let me know where you're watching from and what you're doing for dinner tonight that's low-carb or keto. Love for us to share our thoughts and ideas of what we're cooking because it really helps us think about something we might ha not have had in a long time. So, as you're jumping on, let me know where you're watching from and what you're doing for dinner. We're making a fried zucchini and the air fryer pork chops. So, I got my pork chops already in the air fryer. They're ready to go. You guys have seen me cook that a bunch of times. I will post the recipe later this evening. When I post the plated meal, we have got some bacon grease over here in my skillet, guys. What I've done so far is I did cook up about six pieces of bacon, and we're going to use that bacon grease to fry up our zucchini. We're going to make fried zucchini. You probably have seen something very similar to this or something just like it. I don't know. It's the first time I've cooked it, and Haley said, God, you've got to get this done on it. So good. All right, so right now, in order to get started, you need to grade your zucchini. So, you know, like when I make zucchini rice, we take our cheese grater and we grate that zucchini. I did that already, and I've got bacon in here. Now, I did it already because once you grade your zucchini, you want to put about a teaspoon of salt, your uh, pink salt or your uh, Redmond's Real Salt. Let it sit for 10 minutes, and then you want to take your paper towel and you want to smoosh out as much of the moisture as you possibly can. The more you get out, the better it's going to cook. That's Haley's tip. That's why Haley told me. I uh, hope that I got enough out and we'll see. I'm going to use this hot bacon grease to actually fry up the, the fritters or the fried zucchini. So we've got our fried zucchini and we've got some bacon in here. Uh-oh, look, my refrigerator open. Need to give me some water. Need to give me some water, Frankie. So now we're just going to mix the rest of our ingredients together and we're going to put them in this hot grease. So, I mean, it's fast and easy. I did chop up a little bit of onion, so we're going to add about... I don't know, diced to small onion, like a half of a small onion. It's not a whole lot. Uh, the more you want, I mean, the more the merrier. If you want it to have a good onion flavor, then you can do more than what I did. But I just minced up a little bit. And when I say diced, I mean, I minced it really, really fine. And then we're going to add some seasonings. We're going to do, uh, we're going to do about a half teaspoon of pepper and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. Uh, you can do more or less. It's up to you. So we're just going to go ahead and sprinkle that seasoning in here some pepper and garlic powder. Now I love garlic, so I may do more than a fourth teaspoon <clears throat> or a half teaspoon. I may do a, I may do two whole teaspoons. I think I will, So I love garlic. That's my decide, my decision. All right, a little bit of garlic. Ooh, yes, smells good already. We're gonna add some uh, coconut flour. We're gonna use two tablespoons of coconut flour and this recipe does call for coconut flour. So I honestly recommend coconut flour. The coconut flour holds moisture better than almond flour. And we know that these zucchinis have moisture, right? Zucchini holds moisture. So we're gonna do two tablespoons of, of um, coconut flour. We're gonna add in some cheese. So I've got a fourth cup of shredded mozzarella and a fourth cup of shredded Parmesan. And the last thing is eggs. We're gonna go ahead and put in two eggs and we're fixing to get our hands nasty. Throw those away. Hey, Frankie, what you doing with your little pink toy? You got your pink toy girlfriend? Oh, her so pretty. She wants her mama to come play with her. She knows I got to do dinner first. All right, so let me go over these ingredients again. Wipe my hands here. We've got our grated zucchini. Now, I used about four cups. That's about two to three medium-sized zucchinis. You can do less if you want to and make much less of these. I don't really know how many it's going to make. What I'm going to do is take my fourth cup scoop scoop it out and flatten them like a pancake, and I'm gonna make a uh, fried zucchini. So we've got about four cups of zucchini grated. We let that sit for 10 minutes with a teaspoon of salt, and then we smash the mess out of it with our paper towel to get as much, much moisture as we can out. That's not the easy task in this recipe. Then we fried up about six pieces of bacon. I'm using that bacon grease. We got the bacon chipped up in here. We added um, about a fourth teaspoon of pepper, a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder. We added two tablespoons of coconut flour, a little bit of diced onion, about a half of a small onion. And then we added two eggs and that's it. So let me take my rings off because we are going to get dirty here. I'm going to, I know we could use a fork and probably could use a fork. I think I'll start with the fork actually. <laughs> let me just use this fork that I cooked the bacon in, a bacon, bacon grease fork. We're going to stir this around just a little bit and then I'll use my hands to kind of make my patties. Um, again, you want to get as much moisture out of this zucchini as you possibly can. That's how it's going to hold together better. I don't know if my 
uh, fried zucchini is going to turn out as pretty as Haley's has. But Haley's was absolutely beautiful. She's cooked them twice now, and this is her idea for me to fix these for myself and Ricky because she says they are just absolutely awesome. I'm just mixing this up really good. I don't know how adding the eggs cuts down the moisture, but I guess the eggs is going to hold it together as a caking agent with the, co with the uh, coconut flour. Let me know what you guys are doing for dinner tonight. I'm fixing to come check out your comments as soon as we start this little things over here on the fryer. We've got our bacon grease on low heat because my stove top gets really, really hot. All right, it's time to get my hands dirty. Time to get these hands dirty. I feel like I've probably got too much zucchini grease juice, but it's okay. It's my first time. It'll be all right. Okay, so I did not put any salt and pepper in here. There's just the salt that we set the zucchini in. Yeah, I got a feeling this is going to be way too moisture berry. It's going to be too much, uh, too much water in here, but we'll just see. First time, first time. You guys get to see me live in the kitchen. All right, I'm going to get me a little spatula out to make sure I got a clean spatula. I'm definitely going to need that. And I do. Perfect. Now, I've got this grease on warm heat. Uh, it's not super hot because this stove top gets really, really high, hot. I'm going to take my little fourth cup measuring cup, and we're just going to put it right over here in this grease without hopefully popping myself. There we go. I'm just going to do it this way. And then I'm going to take my spatula and just smash it down into a fried zucchini. I'm going to call them fried zucchini tots. But the, the thinner you get them, the faster they'll cook, of course. And we just want to fry these until they are pretty much crisp on both sides. They look really good already. They smell really good. The bacon looks really good in these. I'm going to go ahead and start my air fryer because I do have some air fried pork chops over here. You guys have seen that recipe a bunch of times. I will have it posted tonight with my plated dinner. I'm going to do three of these at a time. And look, when I just patted that out with my spatula, I saw juice flying. So these may not hold together super well. And that's okay. It's my first time. First time try. But I think they're going to taste super yummy. Haley said she loved these. I hope this skillet doesn't stick too bad. And I really don't know how long to time them, so we're just going to let them fry. I'm going to turn this air fryer on real quick. I got my air fryer on 350 for 10 minutes. We wash my hands. See if you guys have any questions for me. Got bacon grease all over my stove again. Oh, the mercy, it's a mess. All right, let me see. Hey guys, how are you doing? If this sounds good, if you love zucchini and you think a fried zucchini would sound good, it smells fabulous. Go ahead and share this video and give me some hearts. I'm super excited to try new things. Pamela had Olive Garden cheat night. Ooh, Pamela, what'd you have? I'm curious what you had there. I don't eat Olive Garden a whole lot, but when I do, they usually have some type of uh, a chicken. Uh, they actually can replace your pasta with broccoli and still pour the pasta sauce over it. It's still not the best choice, but better. Uh, but yeah, it's okay to do that every once in a while. Kitty spinach and feta stuffed chicken breast. Yum. That sounds good. I love sauteed asparagus. I love asparagus, period. Ooh, man. I'm looking to see what you guys are doing for dinner tonight. Um, how does he look with this? Oh, she looks so cute, Michelle. If she will be still because she's so rambunctious, I will definitely post a picture later of little uh, Frankie Sue's haircut. Um, I know I rarely fry anything in the skillet. Two times this week I've, I've fried something in the skillet. Isn't that odd? <laughs> Parmesan chicken in the air fryer. Yum. Yes, Connie. I love it. Add a tad bit more coconut flour. Okay, Abby, I should have done that, darn it. I might do that to this back, to the ones that's left. I just bought zucchini. I'm going to have to try this. Julie, Judy, I'm sorry. Haley loves it. I can't wait to try it for the first time tonight. Um, yes, yeah, Stacy, I got me a puppy, too. She's 10 weeks old, and she's so cute. She's so cute. <laughs> this will be our third full week of having her here, and I'm totally in love with her. Her name is Frankie Sue, and she is a little miniature uh, schnauzer. And I'm going to see if I can get her to be still for y'all, if I can find her. She runs in here and jumps on my leg and takes off. Like, she is full puppy. That was a good idea, Abby. I'm going to add just a little bit more coconut flour to get some of that moisture up. Ooh, they smell good. Now, pork chops in the, uh, in the air fryer, guys. You know it's the standard air fryer pork chop. I'll have the recipe for you later. If you already have my recipe blog, then you can actually use the search bar. I've got a search bar in there now. 
and you can uh, search air fryer pork chops or pork chops and you'll see all the pork chops options come up. Ooh, this looks good. We're just gonna fry them until they look like they're ready to flip. <laughs> I'll wait until I see some brown around the edges maybe and then I'll decide if I'm gonna flip them. I don't think I can overdo it, I don't think. They smell so good, y'all. They smell so good. I would probably use some Parmesan and pork rinds to make crust. You could totally do that. I tried a version of the zucchini about a year ago. She likes zucchini. Ooh, Donna's doing fajitas, salmon, and your roasted cabbage. Oh, I need some roasted cabbage in my life, Jill. We love the roasted cabbage. Um, I haven't done a roasted cabbage in a little bit. Homemade soup and grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, Honkita Lewis bread. I love grilled cheese sandwich, especially with a tomato soup. Oh, it's so good. I can tell that you're watching your videos. Keeps me on track. Oh, well, thank you. I sure appreciate that, Judy. Ah, oh, Diane has got a new air fryer. I'm so excited for you to try it out. Chicken bruschetta tonight. It was delicious. I'm so glad you loved it, Carrie. I've been eating raw cabbage salad. Ooh. I love raw cabbage. Uh, Roseanne, I would Google. I Google all the time. I'll just say how many net carbs are in a cup of cabbage. I think it's about five. Um, if I remember right, last time I Googled it, I think it was uh, five net carbs in about a cup of cabbage. Not related to Haley's puppy. No, nope. Stacy, this is not related to Haley's puppy, and she just walked over here. Let me turn this around and get away from the stove top. Come here, Frankie. Frankie, Sue, come here. Some of my friends haven't met you yet. Oh, my baby. Now, she just got a haircut. She just got her haircut. This is my little Frankie, Sue. Tell them, hey, she's, she's too rambunctious, look. She's like, put me down, put me down. Look, Frankie, look. Look at my friends. Frankie, look. That's what she does. She's so sweet. I just love her. Frankie, look. <gasps> look at, she ain't gonna look at y'all. Look, Frankie, look. Look what I got. <gasps> look what I got. Oh, her so sweet. Oh, there she is. Oh, I love her. Oh, I love her, y'all. She's my little sweet baby. Uh, we had fried Wally and broccoli cauliflower. Yum. That sounds good. I gotta wash my hands again. I just played with the puppy. I'll be right back. <laughs> Ricky, I got some extra bacon if you want to eat, baby. All right, we're gonna try to flip these things and see what they look like. All right, I've never fried these before. I'm gonna see if they feel like they're flippable. I'm scared they're gonna stick. Oh man, don't stick, don't stick. Don't stick. I got a non-stick skillet and baking it. Maybe it's not ready yet. Maybe it's not ready yet. I'm gonna let them, I'm gonna let them fry for a few more minutes. <laughs> I feel like it's either sticking or it's not ready yet. We're gonna let that fry in a few more minutes. That's why I can't stand frying stuff. I'm not the expert at frying. Um, <laughs> I used bacon grease and it is a non-stick skillet, but that doesn't mean all, that doesn't always mean it's gonna work the right way. Ooh, the pork chops are looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, oh my gosh, are y'all kidding? No, I thought I found my measuring spoon, but it's the one I just used. I've lost my measuring spoon. That's not my old one, that's my new, that's the one I had. All right, I wonder if I should turn the heat up. You hear them sizzling, they're sizzling. How are the older girls taking her? Stacy, they actually are having fun with her now. Uh, she is very rambunctious, but they're starting to play with her. Uh, little Ellie Mae, the middle child, <laughs> she actually will take her toys up to her and make her try to get her toys. And she just, she does not want her to get her toy, but she wants her to get her toy without telling her. So like, she entices her. Like She'll get really, really close to her and then run away. So they're having the best time right now. They finally started playing together. All right, guys, I really think I need to flip them. All right, we're going to try. We're going to do our best. Let's see. Y'all can watch me fail. This is going to be a kitchen fail, I believe. Let's try it. And he's gonna be laughing at me. Ah, come on now. I should call Haley. Call Haley Dove. Calling Haley Dove. Mobile. We'll call Haley. <laughs> fried zucchini, how long do I wait for I flip them? Um, I've waited a good 10 minutes. 10 minutes? I don't know how long it's been. Like, I'm trying to flip them and I feel like it's going to rip apart. Get it all the way up underneath the spatula and turn it over. Yeah, but I got, I think it, my spatula's not, I mean, it's a non-stick spatula, I mean, it's non-stick uh, skillet, but 
I don't know if it's I don't know if it's working right. All right, let me try. FaceTime me. I'm trying. I'm talking to my friends on Facebook. All right, here we go. Yep. Damn it. I'm sorry, y'all. Just cuss. Dang. I don't think it was done, Haley. Talk, FaceTime me on your daddy's phone. <laughs> I just flipped the first one. I feel like the whole crust just come off. Maybe it's my not my skillet's not the best skillet in the world, y'all. This is live cooking. <laughs> I may have too much. Uh... I'm so disappointed. Let me show you. And we're live, so they're watching my disappointment. Look. So I flipped it over and it like took all the bottom off. You think it's my skillet? Do I got too much put more, grease in there? Put more oil in there. More oil? Yeah. First off, you need a big skillet like this. This is a big skillet. That okay. Like Haley told me to add more oil, y'all. I'm just doing what Haley says. She's the expert at these. <laughs> so, maybe I got it too low. Think I'm cooking it too low? I keep mine on medium high heat, about six. Yeah, but you know this thing gets hot. So, I don't know if I just didn't cook it long enough or it's stuck. I don't think you cooked it long enough. I got a feeling it's stuck. All right, I'm going to let it cook. We're going we're gonna to time it this time. We're going we're gonna to time it five more minutes, y'all. <laughs> All right, I love you. What are you cooking? <laughs> Chicken, Haley's cooking chicken tenders, y'all. What, what's your side dish? Broccoli and cheese. Here's Haley. Say hi, Haley. Hi. <laughs> oh, I didn't show them. Say hi, Haley. Hey. <laughs> Broccoli and cheese and chicken tenders. Well, okay, I love you, baby. All right, love you. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I didn't know. Um. All right. Any questions you guys have while we're waiting on this? Set a timer for five minutes. <laughs> Uh, they smell so good, so they got to taste good. I just don't want to rip them apart my first time trying to cook them. They definitely are holding together, and it probably is my skillet. It's supposed to be non-stick, but this is why I don't like to fry things. I do, I've do. i never enjoyed frying things. My poor shots are going to be ready before my, fr before my fried zucchini. Hey, Helen, how are you? Oh, my goodness, Stacy has six doggies. Oh, my goodness. Now, Ricky has really helped me a whole lot. He always does. But Ricky has helped me a whole lot. So, uh, Ricky, the dog, it's not the dogs. I don't care what he says. Ricky has a time clock in his brain that makes him get up 100 times a night. So, he takes them out uh, every time he wakes up. So, I think he is setting an alarm for the new puppy. Uh, but Ricky gets up a lot. So, he takes them up, out pretty much at night. And I take care of them as soon as I get home. get to love on them. And Ricky told me I could have them. So, I know I travel. First thing people said is, you don't need a dog, you travel too much. Well, that don't mean I can't have puppy love. I need puppy love, too. And Ricky told me I could, so. <laughs> Ricky takes care of them when I'm traveling. All right, these are smelling so delicious. I'm scared to death to flip them again. Do y'all have any advice? Hey, they didn't give me a whole lot. Oops. Show me the timer. There's a five-minute timer with three minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Y'all be nice over there. Y'all be nice. See, she's got her toy out. She's trying to get her to play with her toy. Any advice, guys? All you expert frying fans? All right, I'm going to try to flip this one because it's been on here for a few minutes. Yeah, it's sticking. I can feel it. Doggone it. That really disappoints me. That's the problem. It's sticking. I can't fix that. We're in a skillet. Ah! Then think maybe I should put them in the air fryer? I think I'll put them in the air fryer. All right, let's come out. We're swapping things up. Maybe I don't have enough grease in there, but it definitely looks like I do. Ooh, the pork chops look good. Mm -mm. Them pork chops look mighty fine. Let's see if we can figure out these darn zucchini tops. Let's see if we can finish figure these out. I'm gonna smash them in here. I just don't think I'm crazy. Maybe I just don't have enough grease. Are y'all the experts? Y'all tell me. I do not fry things very well, and that's the actual, absolute reason why. These have got to be good in here, too. Hopefully. Not yet, but you can take it. This ain't working anyway. I'm making a mess. <laughs> I thought I was gonna look, they're sticking in there and it's a non-stick skillet. I just wanted to add more grease. So I did. That don't seem to be working. I'm 
strong on the air fryer. I have no idea if they're going to come out. All right. We're going to test them in the air fryer too. This is a testing night. I hope you guys are okay with testing nights. I need a different skillet, I believe. <laughs> I think I do too. Hey, Kathy, you may not have had the skillet hot enough. I was wondering because I had it on low heat. But, I mean, y'all hear it cooking. I think it's my pan for sure. Doggone it. They'll probably work perfect in y'all's pan. <laughs> they smell seriously delicious. Maybe I didn't have them hot enough. Okay. Let me try to flip this one and see if it's good. I think it's just my pan. See, I can barely get up under it. You know, put extra grease in there. It's going to start really popping when you get it hot. <sighs> I think it's just because they're sticking out. Cause see, I can't even get my skillet. I can't even get my spatula up under them because the crust is. Dang it! I'm so disappointed. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to flip this. Nope. Ah. Okay. Forget this skillet. <laughs> We're gonna do air fry. Uh, this is a kitchen fail. I'm gonna have to title this kitchen fail, but try the recipe. <laughs> it sounds delicious. It smells seriously, absolutely delicious. But it is not gonna fry the way I want them to. So I just wasted my bacon and my zucchini and Ricky is really hungry. So I'm glad I cooked some extra pork chops. Uh, hopefully the air fryer ones will turn out. So that's what I'm banking on. I'm banking on some air fried zucchini. <laughs> Cause this definitely did not work out the way I wanted it to. So guys, if you have any advice, I'd love to hear it. I will definitely come back to this video and read the comments after I finish this live video. If you guys have advice, sorry, I am going to keep this because I am real and this is for real cooking in the kitchen and the kitchen fail. <laughs> so I'm going to retitle this. Glad I'm not the only one. Well, I'm glad too, Robin. And Micah says I don't have enough oil. See, I figured if the oil covered it up, I don't know. I don't like, I don't like frying foods. I never have liked frying foods. But anyway, this is pitiful. This is a kitchen fail. It's supposed to be fried all the way around. It should be done by now. And I feel like it's just all gooey. There's so much oil. I feel like there's so much oil. Anyway, we're going to do an air fried version, and when I finish, we're going to post it, and you guys will see. Kitchen bloopers. That's what I'm going to call it, Kimberly. This is the kitchen blooper. All right, guys. I hope you have an awesome night. If I can help you, just send me a message. Ricky's about to start clanking on these uh, dishes, putting the dishes up for me, and I will post this finished dinner out of the air fryer, and we will see what they come out like. I will let you guys know. Uh, doing them in the air fryer, probably need to come up with a little different. Probably the zucchini is too wet. Lori, that's probably true, too. All kinds of kitchen fails on my side. But at least my hair's cute. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.